All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. What we have is an unbox and review, and this is a 30 row cooler. This is a G Plus eBay, came off of eBay. Uh, the price point on these guys, I think, was like 57 something, is where we were. And, um, appreciate that, Rusty. Okay, so what we've got going on here, we've got the box. So this, We've done three of these unbox and reviews now of tranny coolers, um, which gives us perspective. I want to compliment whoever the heck this is that decided to package this thing like this. Okay, so here we've got the outer box. Most of them would just have some styrofoam, i.e. like for example, this is some of the styrofoam that was help, helping protect our eBay 40 row cooler. Okay, so, but these guys, Look at this. It comes encased all the way around in like a little styrofoam briefcase. Now we've bought three so far, um, not like super high dollar coolers, but one was a True Cool and one was an eBay cooler, a 40 row, and none of them have successfully arrived without damage. Um, now we've, we bought two of these because of what we're doing and the these are the only ones that have arrived without damage so far. So it comes complete in its own styrofoam case in a plastic bag. Just like the 40 row cooler, as soon as you pick it up, you it's got weight to it. It's not like, um, I'm not knocking the True Cool, but the True Cool is much lighter for the size. This guy, you pick up the box and you, you know that this thing is a lot more dense. And that's what I'm going to call it. Um, the finish on these, um, this is the second one. So we unbox the first one. This is the second one. The finish is, is actually pretty good. Um, it does have, they have some kind of like a baffle here. here. Um, if you can see that there. Um... And that is, I, I, I have no idea what that is about, but uh, it seems to give it good solid fin integrity there. The tanks, uh, they, they just about double the amount of, of rows that are on each of these. And by rows, I mean, so this is like a 30 row cooler. The True Cool would have had just about every other one of these missing. And maybe that's why these stacked plate coolers are much more efficient than the thin in plates. Um, the tank construction seems to be pretty solid. Uh, these arrive without the 40 row. The fins were okay, but the mounting brackets were bent on it. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up and see. I'm going to try to use this. See if we can get a, a view down in there. So on this G plus here, this has a better uh, like passageway. So the 40 row cooler has a little bit of a neck down in there, whereas this G plus seems to be a cleaner passageway. The angles on the 10 an, yes, we're using a, a little flashlight on a walkie talkie, but the so the the fitting there, the actual mating surface of it looks pretty good. And the the threads look to be pretty good. So for an unbox and review, you know, obviously we'll keep you guys posted on how it performs and how these things cool and long-term issues like does it spring a leak? Because uh, that's very important. We ran into that with the True Cool. Uh, we like the cooling capacity of it. Um, but it popped a leak on one of these tank joints here uh, where they were crimped together. So we'll keep you updated on that and in terms of if you're thinking about using one of these guys. Um, initial impressions, I, I really like this and I like the way it was packaged. It gives you confidence that you'll, you'll pay your $57 or whatever it is, 60 bucks ish and you'll actually get something that won't be damaged when you go to use it. So I like it. Is it worth 60 bucks? Initial impressions are yes, but we really need to know how these guys cool when we put them in the truck 
This will be going on a third gen bodied uh, Dodge Ram 3500. So we'll keep you updated on what happens there. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Or, uh, you know, go ahead if you like the kind of content and some of the other projects we've got kicking around. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys. Okay. Well, this is for you. It is. I can't figure those things out for life.